Thank you, Lord. Praise God. So, well, praise be to God. Glory to God. You have anything? Huh? Do you? from this house coming from a deeper place of intimacy with the Father for I ordained this house and this house has greater things in store than what it's ever seen before there is a new song and a new sound of music a new sound of true worship yes. that will come from this house. Hallelujah. For my people are hungry and thirsty Jesus. for my presence. And as you position yourself, and as you do this in your own quiet time with me, says God, I will move mightily on your behalf. I will show myself strong Hallelujah. to you. I will show myself strong you, to your families. Thank you, Father. For in this house of worship, my name is always to be praised. Greater things will we walk in coming from the intimacy of our time with the Lord. Thank you, Father. I, I was down there earlier and I kept looking at him and I was like just feeling something in my spirit. and. Earlier today, I was just thinking about the anointing of Jesus and what it would be like. And it was, I can't believe it was for tonight, but earlier today, I was thinking about when we all, what would happen if we all before church just took a few moments and just genuinely worshiped the Father? What miracles would take place when we come together? And so I just encourage you in your own personal time, I believe that God is, has something so special for this church. And it's not because of our pastors being so amazing, it's because of the people that God sent that are hungry Amen. for a move of the spirit. And Amen. I just felt that in worship earlier that we are just about to Thank see God do something am amazing, but songs, songs from this house are about to break forth to bring what we just experienced. So, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My, my. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Glorify you. We glorify you. Now, this may be new to you, but just stay steady. Just stay steady. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Jeannie, you got something? You got anything? I, I, I'm not going to ask you twice. Yes or no? Jesus. Hallelujah.
America by bringing in things that I don't have to mention you know. The devil has meant to destroy. But as in 2 Corinthians or 1 Corinthians 2, if the devil had known what would happen when the princes of this world crucified Jesus, he would have never had him crucified. Why? Because in crucifying the one place where he thought the anointing was, he thought he was done with the anointing by crucifying Jesus. But he didn't know that in crucifying one, he was releasing yeah. many. He was releasing yeah. millions. So the world, the enemy is using things to try to destroy the things of God here. But he doesn't know that God's got the higher plan. That in bringing the world here, he's brought the world to you, yeah. to us. We glorify you tonight. Lord, you are great and mighty God. Thank you for working, for moving in our midst. You're the wonderful, wonderful Savior, wonderful Deliverer. Thank you, Lord. You don't have to prove anything. But yet over and over again, you touch us. And we thank you for it, Father. We give you praise and honor and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen.